Go ahead and tackle the second one first. This one's in the vertex form, and you can see that's the a times x minus h squared plus k form. hk is the vertex. You can see the vertex is going to be at 3, 1. Okay, so it's the opposite. And this is the same, okay, as the signs. Opposite sign, same sign. And the 1 half, that tells us that it's going to be compressed by 1 half. So we can look at the parent function, y equals 1 half x squared. I'm just going to plot some values. If uh, x is, let's say, 2, 2 squared is 4 times a half is 2. If we pick, let's say, 4, that's going to be 16 times 1 half is 8. So if we plot a couple points here from the vertex, we've got 2, 2. So I'm going right 2, up 2. And you can also go the other direction, okay? And then I could also go right 4, up 8. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, up 8. Let's see, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, just right about uh, there. And right about, uh, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, right about there. Okay, now notice how this is greater than or equal to. That means it's going to include the points on the graph. So this is a solid line. It's not dash. Okay, it includes the points on this, okay, approximately like that. Okay, now uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to shade. So y is greater than means we're going to shade above. So greater than means if we pick a point on the parabola, greater than, because y controls the vertical direction up and down, greater than we're going to shade straight up. Okay, we're sh shading straight above like so, okay. If it was less than, we would shade below the graph, down. Okay, now the second one, this one's in the general form, okay, and you can see to find the vertex here, you're gonna use that formula, x equals negative b over 2a. So this is our a value, this is our b value, this is our c value. So negative b would be the opposite of six, which is positive six, over two times three, which is also six, so that comes out to one. Now if we put one back in, for x, we can solve for the y coordinate of the vertex. So that's going to be 1 squared is 1 times 3 is 3, minus 6 times 1 is just negative 6, okay, plus 1. So that's negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. Okay, so it looks like our vertex here is at 1, negative 2. And uh, let's see, if we want to look at the parent function, y equals 3x squared, we can do a table on that. We get 1, 3, and 2, 12. Okay, so I'm just putting 1 in for x. So what I'm going to do is from this point, I'm going to go right 1, up 3, 1, 2, 3, okay, and I can do the same thing on the other side since it's symmetric, and then 2, 12, let's see, so that's going to be 1, 2, way up here, okay, and then uh, let's see over here, let's see, 2, that's going to be 1, 2, way up here, okay. So basically, this one is greater than but not equal to, so what we have here is we have a dashed, okay, line, okay, so it's going to look something like, uh, let's see, something like this, okay, approximately. Now, Greater than means we're shading above. So above means that I'm going to be shading any point on the graph. I'm going to be shading straight up like this. But you know, in this case, I'm just going to draw the lines this way just to help us to visualize it a little bit better. So greater than I'm shading above. And you can see where they're cross hatched, okay, where they overlap, that's the solution set. So it looks like it's going to be right in here, okay, is where they're overlapping. And that's how you approach it. Now, I could have been a little bit more precise with my graph. Like, for example, I could have found the y-intercept by setting x to 0. That would have been a good uh, additional point. Um, I could have also just plotted additional points besides the ones I just did here. But the main point I wanted to point out is if it's greater than, you're shading above the graph. Less than, you're shading below. If it's equal to, it's a solid line. If it's not equal to, just like less than or greater than, it's going to be a dashed line. And the idea is to find out where those parabolas overlap. So if you want to check out more about graphing quadratics, you can go to my Mario's Math Tutor YouTube channel and find out more about the different forms, uh, whether it's vertex form, slope intercept, uh, I'm sorry, vertex form, the general form, or the uh, intercept form. And uh, subscribe to the channel, check out some more videos. Again, like I said, on my Mario's Math Tutor YouTube channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.